music has always been like this, but it's not about these genres. You know, they are only used to somehow put music in places on the shelves in the music shop. You know, but I I never was looking at music that oh, I like only jazz or only electro. Or, you know, it's, it doesn't matter at all. You, <laughs> what's your idea for music? So yeah, this is what what Shimon is saying. It's like he's very true. What is genre free? The reason why we are creating the festival that is genre free is because of the environment we are in. It's a very natural process, like there is no thought about it, you know, let's, let's make this. What inspired us more, I think, is to see all the people around us doing their like uh, underground initiatives, and they are different. They make different music, but they have the same, or we have the same uh, attitude that mm. is about making your own thing, no matter what. <laughs> so visible and this is how the idea of the idealistic festival came you know like just to try to create some kind of a platform for all the independent artists to be more visible I would say everyone is struggling on, on their own and it you know it, 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 it it's often unnoticed somehow so we wanted to try to put us all together on some kind of platform which for now is the festival <laughs> Extreme, the better. Right now, this exchange is very natural as well between Poland and Denmark because, as we also discussed before, like there are a lot of Polish musicians who are studying in Denmark, and this is very natural process to start in Poland and Denmark. But you, of course, want to expand it. I mean, for me. First year in Denmark was constant excitement you know, because finally all of the sudden I was in the place I can do whatever I want and I met all the people I can make the, the ideas I've had in mind before happen. For me what was such a big difference was suddenly this huge openness and match with people who think similarly and just like felt like really endless possibilities you know, and uh, in Poland I feel sometimes to be struggling much more and also people around the whole energy like you are with like you can feel it people are thinking a lot about things like people are struggling with some things you know and maybe I also think of this kind of imagination as well so what I learned in Denmark like was to not struggle so much just to <laughs> yeah. Hugo said. What? Hugo. Hugo. People who are artists themselves and are in the independent scene, but hopefully also a lot more. I hope that in the future we can create really something unique. It will create a new audience as well. It will create some kind of a change in people's people thoughts, you know. And we hope to start some kind of conversation. This is also speaking about Denmark. You discuss a lot. And this is great, I think. And we don't have this discussion uh, culture. You always, when you are at some kind of a workshop in Poland, like, okay, you want to, who has any questions? And no one, everyone is like, okay, no, no questions. I don't want to ask any questions. And in Denmark, it's so different. Like, if there is like a discussion, everyone is just getting into that. And you can feel that it's so 
normal and good to talk about it. And we want to actually ask the journalists and also other people if it makes sense what we are doing. Does it make sense or not? Different collectives in different countries in mind. Uh...